everybody and welcome to Electronics for Beginner episode 3. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe or stay, stick along, give us a like or a thumbs up because this is only Electronic for Beginner guide, a free online course for everybody can join and hopefully we're gonna learn together something interesting. Alright, so Let's get started. The episode of today, uh, this one is called Basic Electronics Component and Symbols. Because you cannot do nothing if you don't know how to spot, how to recognize and how to utilize your electronic component. Alright, so let's dive in. Alright friends, so the first component of our electronics uh, components series and symbols are the batteries. Over here, this is our not all of the batteries possible in this world but just a bunch of them because this electronics uh, thing has got multiple lines of field and we're gonna start with a DC DC means battery powered or direct current as we have here battery a rechargeable one 1.2 volts this is a lithium ion cell or 18650 rechargeable as well 1200 milliamps 3.7 volts this is a kodak 1 9 volt standard non rechargeable this is a 6 volt rechargeable lead acid battery and this one our most trusted 12 volts lead acid battery as well so there are a bunch of them and they are all providing straight narrow and direct current all right so let's move on to the next component our next electronic component is the switch there are various type of switches like knife switch push button rocket switch rotary slide and toggle we don't have all here but believe me there are loads of switches and this is a very important part of the electronic circuit because this when the switch is activated the circuit is complete and we got a path we got an, a closed circuit and the current starts flowing from negative to positive or conventionally from positive to negative. All right then. Next component on our list is resistor. I do have a video that's gonna popping up uh, here somewhere in the top soon. What uh, is a resistor, what it does and how it's gonna help us to uh, use it in our circuit. As you can see, this uh, particular resistor has some stripes. Each stripe is a color coded. So according to the colors of the stripes, you can find which value is the resistor. Or you can use your multimeter and you're gonna find a nearly the same result. The resistor is a key element of our components and our circuits because the relationship between voltage, current and resistance which is provided by the resistor is gonna be a whole and represented by ohm's law but we're not gonna get into details now this is for future videos all but is one of the main key component of our electronics circuits as i told you previously the resistors are very important in our circuits and there there can be hooked up into series in parallel the same is with this next component which is the capacitor this one is the same important as the resistor because it is a key element this one as well can be combined into series or parallel connection the capacitor can be ceramic, electrolytic, film, silver mica or variable. This one is an electrolytical one, you can spot it because it's got this stripe here, minus, which represents that it's polarized and it's got a plus and minus. The other kind of capacitor are these ones, are not polarized. This one is what is a special one, it's 0.33 microfarads, it's a 275 volts AC, it's a different capacitor this one as well as a capacitor as you can see here this kind of thing is a capacitor so mostly uh, are this kind of shape look the electrolytical ones all of them various shapes and sizes are like this and the other ones mica or film are nearly roughly this diagram and this kind of looking all right so let's proceed to the next one and this one believe it or not this is a super capacitor and it's got 
33 farads, 5.5 volts. So this is a super capacitor. There are bigger size reaching to 1000 farads and so on. So this is a very important for a future project. So imagine like this one, this is uh, 2200 micro, so minus, and this one is 0 0.33 farads. So this is a micro, and this is three of this one is gonna make one farad. So it's quite huge in comparing to this one, you see? Another key element of our future projects is the inductor. It can be this one, or uh, I spotted, uh, or can be this one, you see? It is basically a piece of copper wire round around a ferrite road or some kind of ferrite material, right? Next component is the diode. Look over here, normally it's represented like this, black with something pointy on one direction. A diode is basically a conductor that can let the current fl flowing just one direction, you know, it cannot be, um, it, it's not gonna be able to let the current reversing into the other side. So it's, got, it's like a one-way valve, yeah. Diving to circuits, man. Diving to circuits. Whoa. What the hell, man? What the fuck is this? Jesus. And continuing with the diodes, the LEDs, friends. The LEDs is as well a diode, but when the current is flowing through that diode, it's gonna produce some lights. As we have here, you see there are diodes, this one, white, red, green diodes, or known as LEDs, which we love them anyway. All right, friends, the next key element among the resistor, the capacitor, is the transistor. This is revolutionized revolutionize every electronic thing. The transistors can be NPN, PNP, and our special friend you can find here, as I have a couple of projects with it, is the MOSFET, which is more powerful than this other transistor. As you can see here, I got the explanation of, the, of this uh, transistor kit. Look, 200 pieces, NPM and PMP, so 10 values each. You see, so the transistor has many shapes and sizes and application as well. Very important, keep that in mind. The next item on our list is the <coughs> ICs or integrated circuits, like these ones, or like this microchip or whatever is inside here. Look how many there are. When it's gonna come up to these kind of things, it's very hard to replace them and very hard to uh, troubleshoot a circuit and done it properly or improve it or repair it. But there are there, at some point they can uh, easily our job or can make it very difficult. Next item on the list, there are 555 timers like this one or op amps, operational amplifiers and as well transformers like this. Or more easy for you to <coughs> understand. This is a transformer, of course. This is a transformer, a plain simple one, 12 volts on this side and connected to main 240 on this side. This one as well is very important for inverters and some other projects, charger and so on. <coughs> because the transformer normally it doesn't have like a polarity or thing. This one can be connected on this end or on this end with the proper turns and so on. Let's take this example for this one connected to the AC 240 volts is gonna output 12 volts on this one so we can charge our battery on this end, yeah? But if we're gonna put some, let's say, a combination of capacitor and some kind of transistor, this is gonna make some movement, a flickering and on this end is gonna output 240 volts or 
more or less. This is called an inverter. Check it out, I got some videos about it, so very useful as well. Hi folks, so as you can see here, this is some recycled board from all the electronics and stuff. But we're gonna take a look at this one randomly, yeah? It's got a transistor there, could be a MOSFET, could be something powerful. It's got some uh, capacitors, yeah? It's got some small resistors here. It's got capacitors, transistors. And some, this could be an IC integrated circuit. Again, another one. See, so the component that I told you about and the schematics is going to be represented in most of the, the circuits, among other uh, components and so on. The most important part where you can get your free parts is to take all the electronics, dismantle them and remove all the components. That's one way to do it. Or buy it cheaply online or God knows how. But I'm gonna show you from now on a couple of interesting projects where you can harvest a little bit of electronics for a budget and so on. One more thing, the symbols and uh, the representation of electronical circuits is made on two uh, kinds one on uh, programs or into when you're gonna re want to represent a circuit diagram this is one representation and the practical representation or the printed board you see this is gonna be the other representation of your electrical component so there are two ways I'm gonna post it onto the Facebook uh, to the DIY electronics web Facebook web page both of them and many other schematics. All right, friends, that was all for today. A brief introduction into electronic components and symbols. Thanks all for watching. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe, harvest everything you can, gather them together. And I'm gonna show you from the next episode what we're gonna do next. All right, see ya. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, electronica.